Hi, I'm Summer here with Eco Collective, and I'm just going to share a little bit about zero waste cleaning. Personally, I keep my cleaning routine really simple. Probably my favorite thing that I use is baking soda. It's so, so cheap. You can get it in almost any bulk section. We have it at Eco Collective, and a lot of bulk stores will have baking soda. Um, seriously, you can get a giant jar of it for like a dollar. It basically just scrubs everything clean. Like what you might have been working at for however long with whatever cleaning product you're using, just throw some baking soda on there, you will get the grime off. So that's my number one hero, baking soda. Very simple. I know a lot of people use their own DIY recipes using ingredients like castile soap or white vinegar, which I've had good experiences cleaning with in the past. Vinegar is a great disinfectant and is really good if you dilute it with water for things like cleaning the floors. I will actually link an article in the description that's really full of DIY cleaning recipes for pretty much every use you can think of. All of those recipes are pretty much going to be using ingredients like castile soap, baking soda, and white vinegar, and water. It's super simple. But for now, I'll just show you my routine. Personally, I don't love making my own cleaning products, so I actually use Blue Land. This is just one example. Blue Land makes three different types of cleaners that actually have just a tablet that you drop in water and you reuse this bottle again and again. I've been using this for a few months now. I have their glass and mirror cleaner which is great for like polishing surfaces and I also have the bathroom cleaner which the ingredients in this one are supposed to help reduce mold in the bathroom and I have found that it's pretty effective. I can use this by itself for something like cleaning the toilet or cleaning the bathtub and it does a really good job of cleaning those surfaces. And if the bathtub is extra grimy, I'll just use my handy dandy baking soda. Last type of Blue Land product and probably the one I use the most is the multi-surface cleaner. As you can see, I need to refill mine soon. <laughs> What's cool about having a Just Add Water product is that you're actually not going to ship a liquid product and that little tablet takes up almost no space compared to a full bottle of product like this. Really anytime you can find a Just Add Water product, you're going to be saving a lot of carbon emissions in the shipment of that product, which is a really big part of the impact. So. There's both the packaging and the shipping of the product. The packaging, often cleaners come in single-use plastic bottles, and whenever you can avoid that and reuse a bottle, that's great. And something like Blue Land or there's other similar products out there where you're just adding water to the product, that's going to allow you to really minimize the packaging and oftentimes since the just add water products come in a dry form you don't need to have it shipped in a plastic or even glass container it can just be in a compostable packet and the liquid is the heaviest part of the product so you're going to reduce your carbon emissions from that shipment. Another thing you want to look out for when you are choosing cleaning products is that you want to make sure that the product itself is biodegradable because that means that when it goes into the water stream, which it inevitably will if you are washing something down the drain, that it will not be toxic to marine life. If you don't use products like Blue Land and you just want to do your own DIY products, a lot of times you might have spray bottles lying around the house. Personally, I have held onto this one for the occasional DIY product. The best thing that you can do is to reuse what you have. So a lot of times you might be tempted to get a new fancy cute bottle, but 
just know that whatever you have already is the most sustainable option out there. For cleaning the toilet, I have this lovely toilet brush. The brush itself is completely compostable. The bristles are Tampico fiber, which is a type of plant fiber. I can't believe I'm holding this toilet brush so at eye level. <laughs> and then you can just use this wooden stand. And what's nice about this toilet brush too is it actually gets to fully dry because it's just hanging on this stand. Whereas in past toilet brushes that I've used, they kind of like sit in the moisture and to me that's really gross. For cleaning, I often use Swedish dishcloths, especially if I'm wiping up a spill because it literally is like a spill eraser. It just soaks up all of the liquid. <laughs> I think that this holds about 20 times its weight in liquid, which is kind of crazy, and yeah, now that I've started using these, I pretty much can't go back. If I spill something, I'm like, where's my Swedish dishcloth? And so they're really cute. They come in cute patterns. They are completely compostable. They're just made of cotton and cellulose plant fiber, so it's really nice. It's kind of a great alternative to both a sponge and a dishcloth. I also sometimes use, especially if I'm polishing a mirror or something like that, I will use an unpapered towel which gets super soft as you use it. The more times you wash it, the more absorbent it gets. And because it's so soft, I find it's really good for polishing a mirror or something like that. And at times I'll also use, if I need like a little bit more scrub action, I might just use a regular cotton washcloth and the reason that I choose towels that have natural fibers is not only at the end of their life will they be able to be composted or biodegrade but during their use every time I throw it in the wash I know that it's not shedding any plastic microfibers that a synthetic towel might be doing those plastic microfibers go into our waterways and end up being eaten by fish and things like that, which is just so sad and it's really harming our sea life. So I try to do what I can and then when I do have synthetics, I do wash them in a guppy bag, which we'll talk about later when we're talking more about sustainable laundry a different day. If you're looking for a really simple all-purpose soap to wash your counters, clean your floors, that sort of thing, Liquid Castile Soap is a really good option. We have it at the Eco Collective bulk section in a bunch of different scents and it's really concentrated so again similar to a just add water product, it is going to go a long way for a small amount. One thing that I notice about cleaning products that are conventional, not zero waste, is that there has to be a product for everything. There's, you know, your toilet bowl cleaner, your bathtub cleaner, your floor cleaner, and there's like something for every type of surface and everything that you have. And truthfully, a few simple cleaners or a few simple recipes or ingredients are really gonna do the trick. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us and learning a little bit about zero waste cleaning.